Okay. I think we've got it on. Yeah. Oh, it was like totally trippy. Um, yeah, I was like trying to put the uh, phone into the little holder and then everything like falls apart. And I'm like, ah! But fortunately, nobody saw that. So, whew, good thing. So I hope everybody is doing awesome. Today is Thursday, uh, January 28th. I just got done with a class. I'm like, oh. Um, and I got another class coming up. What the hell was I thinking? You know, like two classes in a day. Ah, ah. Uh, my head's kind of spinning. Uh, we did a five-hour runestone class. And people are like, does it really take five hours? And I'm like, well, yes and no. Um, because we talk about the runestones, each runestone. So you get to know what in the world you're, you're working with. And then, you know, and then you're painting them and fine-tuning them and then shellacking them and putting your vibe into them so it does take a little bit of time plus we eat and you know you know me I'm like puff puff you know um, during a class because you know I like to escape there for a moment but anyway so I got done with the class and what do I get I get you need to do a reading and I'm like, what? And I'm like, you need to do a reading. And I'm like, what? You need to do a reading. And I'm like, but I got another class coming up. And I was like, just do a reading. So I said, okay, I'll just do a reading. Um, so it was, you know, Manly, my boyfriend, he's been like this. So I was like, okay, let me go get the card. Somebody's got something to say. So uh, we have the Angels and the Ancestors cards. That's what we're using today. Um, and so we're just going to do a reading with them because... That's what they're saying. They kept going like, well, Varys, read me. So I'm like, okay. Um, but before we get started, because I just kind of like want to bring our vibration up a little bit. Not saying that we don't have a good vibration, but sometimes a little Palo Santo just kind of kicks it up a little bit. So let's get this baby going here. Looks like a little bonfire. So here's some Palo Santo for you. Inhale. Everybody take a deep breath. Metaphorically speaking, you will smell the Palo Santo. Okay, and we're going to use that just to kind of clear that space. And let me give you a little bit more. Some of you have had a rough week. Okay. All right, so we're Palo santo We're ready to rock and roll. We've got the angels and the ancestors. Let's see if Manly comes by, because I heard him. He's been like, yickety-yak, yickety-yak. Just don't tell my husband. He doesn't know about Manly. I don't know how he would deal with that. You have a boyfriend that's in an oracle card deck? What the hell? Probably think, like, you're crazy. And I'm like, no, it's just energy. Okay, interesting first card. Whoa, let's flip that around the other way. So, I hope everybody's doing okay. Um, it's been an interesting month. Um, uh, it's almost over. Okay, all right. I knew we had some conversation going. Okay, um, so um, this is interesting. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six seven eight cards so um if you don't have your favorite beverage get your favorite beverage come on back um if you have your favorite recreational get your favorite recreational if you need your medicinal get your medicinal some of the cards were kind of upside down i mean i didn't look at them yet because we always do this like from the hip um so um guess what um we got some change coming in whoo Okay, so when my friend the Traveler comes in, uh, this is about an energy. This energy is talking about um, that we haven't been doing really what we're supposed to be doing, per se. Um, but this is about um, changing gears. Um, it's kind of like we've been looking off in one direction where we should be looking in a different direction. And this is what we're looking at here, is that we've been focused on some things that we think are in our path, but we really haven't been 
this week we really haven't been on our path and now it's an opportunity when she comes through you know that it's an opportunity for change opportunity for change and so sometimes people look at me and they go well what do you mean by like it's an opportunity okay you can sit back and um, like when you get a reading and the reading tells you x y and z you can sit back and let x y and z happen on its own accord or chance always favors a prepared mind if you know about obstacles or about things coming in your path what can you do to either cushion the blow or enhance it or flip that switch so that's what we're looking at through here um, we're talking about a need to change directions to change gears to do things in a little bit of a different way that's what the traveler is talking about um, in this particular um, instance here. I'm getting a really strong um, indication that we have been focused in one way and it's time for us to shift that direction and look at things in a different way. And so um, uh, now this is not my boyfriend, but he could be my boyfriend. Um, I kind of like these guys like this, you know, the, with facial hair and et cetera. Um, but this is about um, standing up for what's right and um, being totally honest um, and having integrity on this path. So um, we're getting this, you know, hey, your head's been up your butt. You're going in the wrong direction. Um, and then we're getting over here and it's like, okay, you need to stand up and um, talk about it. Um, is what I'm getting through here. This obstacle here is not really an obstacle, um, but it kind of plays in the obstacle card. And it's saying, you know, um, you've been kind of discounting some of your things. And now it's time for you to take an accountability with it and stand up. It's okay to do that. So um, I'm going to give you an instance. Um, so here's a here's an example of the of what our knight is saying about being brave and honest and using integrity in your speech it's saying so it's kind of like um, when you were a teenager and hopefully um, you know you had like other teens or other people other kids in the house and mom or, or dad would come in and they would say who who didn't do the dishes um, you know we're not me you know everybody's pointing a finger at everybody else and what we're looking at on here when we look at the the night it's saying be accountable be responsible if you did or didn't do something stand up and say hey that was me it's okay because actually you're not going to get the reprimand that we're afraid of we're going to get oh here let me help you with this or let's put this in a different direction you know sometimes we need to um, feel a sense of confidence or a sense of stability to be able to go, oh, yeah, um, I was the one that didn't do that or um, I didn't put the lid back on the toothpaste, okay? Um, that's one of my things. Uh, so it can be those kind of scenarios. It's like often we feel like we're going to really be in trouble or have issues and it's like just stated as it is and we find out through that that it was really kind of no big deal uh, alright so that was what we were looking at there we were looking at um, the night saying stand up be accountable do what you need to do um, for integrity to shine through okay now technically this next card should be our help but we're going to look at it a little bit differently okay um so what we're looking at we're looking at the white witch and the white witch is really about being a light worker and this isn't saying um don't be a light worker this is saying that sometimes we need to be kind of quiet with that we don't need to really um put it out there um for everybody to see and it's not like it's a bad thing but it's um like this sometimes people take advantage of light workers or people that are in the light um you know uh, and i'm going to say it like this and i'm going to be as sweet and kind and loving as i can with this 
Um, there are people that work in the light and they are really loving giving people and they're often loving giving people to a fault and they get taken advantage of, um, they get abused, they get used, um, and then, um, they're over there, they're kind of angry, they feel really, really hurt, um, and their whole thought was, I was just trying to be light, I was trying to be good, I was trying to be kind and loving and show somebody these things, and what this, you know, or show them, or help them, or guide them, and what we're looking at in this, because we're talking about changing of direction, and um, some personal accountability, um, what we're looking at when we see this card is, and this is a detriment to some people, stop picking up other people's responsibilities and burdens. They're really not yours to own, they're not yours to function with, they're not yours to fix. We are there, when we are lights, we are there to illuminate and to show and give some insight, give some direction. We are not there to carry that burden. So this right here, what we're looking at here is for you to drop other people's burdens. They are no longer yours to own. They're no longer yours to work with. Drop them. Get rid of them. Disconnect. Get rid of that, um, uh, that contract, that agreement. Um, Betsy Lou down the street, her shish that's going on is not your issue unless you were from the get-go a part of that issue okay if you're just there give holding space and giving love rock on but stop picking up the accountability that's what this card is talking about it's saying you can be a light and you can be love but honey i am not your scapegoat and that is what she's talking about in this so as you're changing directions um you don't have to be accountable or responsible for what your best friend's doing, even really what your spouse is doing. It's your job to hold your light and your life and your line, your light, your life, your line. Um, it's important for you to work that for you. You can live, you can hold space, you can give love, but stop picking up other people's responsibilities. That's what Sister Friend is talking about. So let's take a look at the next card because this card is going to be playing some a little bit of um, um, with this pat with this card that we just looked at um, the white witch about being the light in here. Okay, so some of us um, we've been programmed, we've been trained, we've been brought into this world. Um, and raised and cultivated and nourished and nurtured um, that we're, and this is again stressing um, about um, being and having integrity and, and being honest and, and open with yourself. If you are the kind of person that you want to help people, that's wonderful. We love that. We love guidance. We love insight. We love um, even sometimes holding somebody's hand and helping them along. But in this, um, you're, we're not always thinking with our heads. We're thinking with our heart. Um, and in this, what we're looking at is that you need to find a balance between your heart and your head. And then bring it down into the balance of your, of your gut, your gut instinct. What do all three of those say? And are they in harmony? Are they in agreement? And it's kind of the what the gist of what I'm getting through here is don't react, don't act on things unless unless your earth center, your heart center, and your heaven center, so that's your gut, your heart, and your heaven center are all in harmony or all in balance with that particular um, question or feat or task or whatever you want to call it that is being brought upon you or brought into your space. It's really important that you are totally in harmony before you start acting or reacting because if you act and react without every part being in harmony, you're going to make some really um, crap. You're going to make some crappy choices and I'm just going to put it like that. Um, in order for you to make really good healthy choices for you, 
your earth, your heart, and your heaven or sky really need to be in harmony. And that's what the star ancestor is making, is really kind of poking and provoking, saying, look, make sure everything's in harmony before you act or react. Um, so it seems like we've got some intense energy coming through. Okay. All right. So we do have some intense energy coming through. Yes. Um, and what we're looking at on this one here is um, be prepared. Be prepared to shift gears. Be prepared to make uh, choices that or make choices or decisions that you were not contemplating um, that you're going to have to do at the drop of the hat in the moment right then and there. That is what this is implying. This is implying when we look at this card and where we've had it with our other cards is that, yeah, you might have had plans. You might have focus um, and know that you're going to do or, or think that you're going to do X, Y, and Z. And when you get there in the heat of the moment, you might have to do A, B, C instead of X, Y, Z. So be open be open for change. Be open for what I call shooting from the hip. Um, and that means that it's just kind of like you walk in and you just start. Um, you can have a plan in your head, but more than likely those plans aren't going to pan out. And you're going to have to shoot from the hip and work through um, the dilemma, work through the task, work through the vibe in a manner that you had not anticipated or had planned on. Um, you know, and I was like, sometimes that can be good, and then sometimes it's not so great. Okay, so I said there's going to be some shush coming in. Yes, there's some shush coming in. And guess what? It's not going to be very pleasant. We're going to have some um, hurt feelings, um, maybe not ours, but others. Uh, we're going to have some people, um, some situations that are going to feel like they're out on a limb and they're kind of on their own and by themselves. Remember what I said, chance favors a prepared mind. So if you know that you might be jilted, that you might be cut off, um, can you tell when someone has blocked chakras? Yes, you can, especially by their behavior, Stacy. Um, so it's like if, if you're having difficulty, and I'll give this for an example. If you're having difficulties holding on to cash or being somewhere on time, you're probably having some chakra issues. And um, you're like, well, I don't even feel it in my body. You may not feel it in your body, but that's why I often will ask people what's been going on. What do you know, what have you been up to? Because that can also give you a strong indication of where those chakras are imbalanced or, you know, blocked, whatever, hyper, hypoactive and um, allows us to go in and start working and clearing out those blocks um, and encouraging the um, um, activity of that chakra to get into balance. So, yes, Stacy, I hope I answered your question for you. All right, so um, on this, I guess we can throw this with the Earth Mama here, or Mother Earth, is that we might not feel like we're totally loved, that we're totally supported, that we're um, we've got everything there that somebody's holding space for us. That's okay. It's chance favors a prepared mind. I'd probably carry around my rose quartz. I probably would carry around um, uh, with me. Um, I hate jaspers. I really do. I just, I'm like, they're the ugliest stone in the world, in my opinion. Just in my opinion only. That's all it is. But I would probably like carry a red jasper around just to help me feel grounded. I might probably carry um, one of my rose quartz or wear my necklace with a rose quartz on it so that I feel my self-love and that even though I might feel like everybody else hates me, um, I love me. And, you know, and first and foremost, you got to love you because other people can't love you if you're not loving you. Okay, just saying, keeping it real. All right, so let's look and see where all this, and I'm going to say bullshit, goes to. All right. Okay, so we were talking about some crappy change. 
um, that changes are going to have to come through and that we're going to be moving in a different direction. And what does my friend the spirit fox say? He's like, hey, hold on to your talents and trust them. Whatever your gifts are, whatever your talent is, that is what is going to get you through these changing times. That is what is going to get you through these changing times. Now, let's look at talents and gifts. Okay. Um, talents and gifts can be things like cooking. It can be like healing. It can be like um, intuitive gifts. Uh, it can be uh, artsy stuff. It can be, um, I'm going back, I keep getting cooking so um, if it's like all the restaurants closed down and you're a hell of a good cook, invite some people over that you love, like and love, okay, to eat. Go make some burritos and go pass them out to um, the homeless. Help people out. Take your talents and gifts and make some magic, make some good mojo with them. Because that's what this is saying, is that through all of this change that we're going to be going through in the next week-ish, um, you need to... Take what your talent is and make something beautiful with it. Whether it's cooking, cleaning, praying, doing hair, I don't care what it is. Bring that to the table and share that love. Share those gifts with people um, and share them most importantly with yourself because this is a time to bring your talents and gifts to the table and say, hey, this is what I can do during this rough time. Really important Good thought process to have with that. All right. Um, and my last card. Um, it's my boyfriend's best friend. Okay, I'm just going to say that. It's my boyfriend Manly's best friend. And he's got a really cool message for us. So let's take a look at it. So the end result. We know that we're going to go through some bullshit. Okay, and I'm just going to say it just like that. We're going to have some hard times. We're, we're going to have to have some hard, difficult discussions. We're going to feel jilted. We're going to feel unloved. And that's just feeling that's not I am. That is I feel. Big difference. I am. I own it. I feel. I experience it. So we're going to feel um, some cutoff stuff. We're going to feel some um, unlo being unloved. We're going to feel some yucky stuff. But what's the end result? The end result is, the end result is, is that we actually um, fulfill some karmic debt with this. Um, we actually take care of some of our karmic um, agreements that we've made for this current lifetime. And more importantly, that as we fulfill and follow through with the, the junk going on, that we actually gain tons of experience. And y'all are like, uh, I don't want to experience bullshit, Maris. Really? Come on. This is grief. And I'm like, it doesn't have to be grief. I look at, uh, I look at this as realities come to surface, we see things as they are, and we can either move away or manipulate that move to where we have more of a win-win situation. You don't have to buy into the crap. There is always a light. There's always a light at the end of that tunnel. It's just a matter of seeing what the degree of the light is. The cool part about all of this is, is that when we look over here at Great Teacher, is that we survive this and we actually um, survive it really well that we are victorious in this, that we have a triumph in this, that it's not going to hold us back, that it's just redefining some of those things that we haven't chosen to work on or to redefine. We've been kind of like playing Russian roulette in many ways, spiritually and emotionally and mentally speaking. Um, and physically speaking, we've been playing some Russian roulette. And now this is kind of coming up into our face and into our path. And we have to confront this in the best way that we know how. That's where your talents and gifts come through. And then what happens after all of that? We come out ahead. 
Not a head like this head, <coughs> but a head as in forward, progressive, movement, healing, good stuff. You just have to go through some of the uh, thorny patches on the path in order to get to that goodness. So keep the faith, keep the strength, keep the light. Know that you're going to have some crappy things that come up in your path over the next week. That's a granted. But we've got a lot of good things that are going to happen out of that because we're going to grow and we're going to learn how to use our gifts and talents for it. You got it, Stacy. dark to light. How to use our gifts and talents for a win-win situation. So, whew, hope you dug that reading. It was kind of a, a little bit longer than what I had anticipated. Uh, so, I'm going to go take a break because I got another class coming up in like 40 minutes. So, peace, love, and harmony. I hope you have a wonderful day. Um, if I'm not too exhausted this evening, I plan on getting online. I'm not sure if I'm going to be on Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube, but you're going to see me on one of those. Yeah. So, peace, love, and harmony again. I hope to see you all very, very soon. Hey, Christy. Um, you have a wonderful day. And Stacy, thank you so much for coming by and hanging out with me. And um, I'm going to go take my break. Y'all know what I mean. Got to do it. Bye.